We're here outside of the Colonial Courthouse. As you mentioned, this is where the program started and continued with a march up Market Street to the Trinity United Church of Christ. But really tonight was filled with so much love and support as the message of the evening was that no matter what you've gone through, your story and life matters. Just being able to speak out and tell people your story is very healing in itself. In downtown York, it was a night filled with encouragement and support. Everything that I think that we do to spread some peace and some care amongst each other. As survivors, family and friends of those who've dealt with violent crime came together for the 38th annual Crime Victims Rights March and Candlelight Vigil. I wanted to be here tonight to really support the community and other victims of uh, similar crimes. The event started with a small ceremony at the Colonial Courthouse and from there participants marched up Market Street to Trinity United Methodist Church and the goal? Well, it's to encourage members of the community to learn how to better support survivors. I'm a victim of child sexual abuse. I am a survivor of losing my sister to murder. Both speakers at tonight's vigil, Sarah Brooks, a survivor of child abuse, wants other victims to know this. Pressing charges and speaking out is totally worth it. I know it's very scary at first, um, and for those uh, victims who have exceeded their statute of limitations, my heart truly goes out to those people because the weight that you feel is lifted off of you after you have gone through that process is unbelievable. For Figueroa Burley, whose sister died nearly 20 years ago due to violence, well, she says she's in a much better place. I'm always trying to take what a horrible thing that happened to her and pay it forward. At the end of the program, participants were able to light candles to remember those who've suffered from any sort of violence. And for anyone struggling, Figueroa Burley says she wants people to know that things can turn around. If I can do it, anybody can. And the message from survivors and all involved tonight, one of the real points that they wanted to get across is that if you are dealing with any sort of violence, to please reach out and ask for help because you are not alone. Reporting live here in York, Michael Fuller, WGAL News 8.